Hey yo, what's up everybody? This is TA from Noble Sports Entertainment. I'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with me on today. We're going to get into the game recap. The Detroit Lions versus Chicago Bears on today. And they looked at ugly guys from the beginning. Um, I'm just going to say with this team, the Detroit Lions, I just got to say that this team just, just cannot get right for anything. I, I don't know what it's going to take for this organization to get themselves in the right direction, man. Um, it's year in and year out saying um, next season this and next season that. And next season in the draft, we're going to get this um, big thing that the Lions need. They need playmakers on defense. They need another corner that's going to be able to um, play um, on a level as Darius Slay. Um, we're getting slow in the secondary. Secondary with uh, Glover Quinn is not as fast as it used to be. And uh, the scheme that he's going through with uh, Matt Patricia is just not working out for Glover Quinn. He looked real good in Terrell Austin's scheme, but the scheme um, of uh, Matt Patricia Glover Quinn is in, uh, ineffective um, in the scheme, and it's really hurting him, and it's causing him to look look like he's lost a couple steps out there. But uh, the final score today, guys, was uh, 34 to 22. Matthew Stafford, 200 yard games. Most of it came towards the end of the game when it really didn't count. Uh, two touchdown passes and two interceptions on today, uh, completing 25 passes out of 42, and then uh, Mitchell Trubisky had. His best game against the Lions, uh, completing 23 passes out of 30 and having 355 yards passing with uh, two intercepts. I mean, not, not, excuse me, guys, uh, two touchdowns. And Allen Robinson had a big, uh, a big game for uh, the Bears on today. The Detroit native uh, had six catches, 133 yards, and two touchdowns. Carryon Johnson had today uh, 14 carries for about 51 yards and he had a TD receiving and as well as running. Um, Kerry, Kerry on Johnson is the Detroit lone bright star right now um, until he uh, until Matthew Stafford can figure out a way to get the ball into the hands of uh, Kenny Galladay who, who had a decent game on today. He scored a touchdown and Marvin Jones got up and, learn, and learning how to utilize the other receivers that he has on the team. But at the same time, man, um, it is what it is. You, this team just cannot get right. I, I don't care what you do or what you say. I saw this in the beginning of the preseason, and I'm saying it again, and I don't care who doesn't like it. The Detroit Lions look horrible out there as far as um, being able to force turnovers, being able to play good on defense. Um, Nevin Lawson looks lost out there. Like he doesn't know what, he, uh, what he's uh, capable of doing or what he's doing out there anyway but he just looks lost out on the field and our corners besides Darius Slay they they're not good and uh, it really makes the team look bad and Matthew Stafford for him to win the conundrum with Matthew Stafford is he needs a good defense because he needs uh, a defense that's going to um, be predicated on um, being able to get the ball back into his hands and I don't know, man, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, every week is who to blame for the Lions losing. But I just say it's an organizational thing. It's, you know, the Lions need to be revamped, revamped and redo this roster over. They, they possibly need to try to get another uh, quarterback in the draft. Um, somebody to put Matthew Stafford on the hot seat. Um, because he's just not working out with Stafford here. You know what I mean? Um, he's been the Lions quarterback for 10 years and... We have not seen any success out of Matthew Stafford. And uh, they've tried to give him weapons. And this offensive line, um, all the money that has been paid for these guys to look good out on the field, they look horrible, man. TJ Jones definitely needs to retire. I mean, not TJ Jones, guys. I'm sorry. TJ Lane. TJ Lane definitely needs to retire. And uh, the Lions are going to need to need to get some. Uh, so the Lions, when looking in the draft this season, guys, it's going to be the Lions looking for defensive players and um, another right guard and possibly uh, another quarterback as well. Uh, eventually, you're going to have to you're going to have to move on from Stafford eventually because it's just not working, guys. And I know that Matthew Stafford um, is uh, is the bread and butter on this team and he makes a lot of money for this team, but it's just not looking good for Detroit. So Detroit needs to figure out a way how to bring some talent on this roster. If not, this is going to be a long, rocky season. And it's looking like it's going to be very, very rocky, guys, uh, for the Detroit Lions here on out. All right, you guys, I'm going to be with you long on today. Just wanted to give my final thoughts. 
on the game on today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is Noble Sports Entertainment, and I am TA, and we talk sports. Period.